Hey guys, welcome back to Cairn Creek. I'm Jeremy here at Cairn Creek in Southern Ohio at our beautiful property that we bought a couple years ago. And you guys are on a journey along with us, watching us improve this property, use our wood miser sawmill, our various pieces of equipment to make this property even better. So last episode, you guys saw us get that mini cabin from another property out here to Cairn Creek. This episode, we're gonna go ahead and get the Traco fired up and try to get started on a trail. This trail is gonna need to be big enough to bring a truck and trailer up through here. And as you can see, we have a lot of small trees. I'm definitely gonna avoid taking out any big trees. But in today's episode, you're gonna see us run that 135G John Deere Traco. And that thing, you would think it would just munch right up through the leaves and mud. No, it's a big overweight sled. And you'll probably see that thing sliding around today. And I do wanna do some cab talk. I wanna bring you guys up to speed on a few things while we're running that Traco. I'll put a camera in there and we'll talk a little bit and let you know some things that we're looking forward to. Let's get in that warm Traco. Let's go. getting in position here this is John Deere it's about a I think it's around a 36,000 pound machine so it's pretty heavy like I said we got some snow and rain and it's pretty slick this thing will just slide around I'm taking out a little tree right now uh, I'll probably put the other camera up so you'll be able to see this tree coming down I obviously hate taking out trees but I mean, we've got a whole forest full of trees and in order to do our next goal with this tree here it needs to come out it's just a little oh eight inch little maple so i'll throw all these trees over to the side and then we'll have to come back through and do cleanup we've got a mini hoe also mini hoe's on a job today so I just brought this bigger hoe back. It's actually too big for this job, but it'll, it'll work. So while we're here, and I just want to take this a minute. We're, we're not quite a year into our YouTube journey, but it's been one heck of a ride. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I thought we'd get to 1,000 beforehand, but that's kind of my MO is I always, I'm always super aggressive and I, you know, I think that I can do this project in one day when it ends up taking two days. So, nothing new to me. I'm just a little aggressive on my quotas sometimes. But anyways, we're close to a thousand. Uh, for you, might, that might not mean nothing. Um, it's just kind of a goal. And for us, it doesn't mean nothing anyways. I mean, on YouTube, once you get to a thousand subscribers, you can get monetized, which you get paid for views. Uh, and it's not much at all. It's nothing to put your job for sure but uh, it's more of a goal and you actually have to sign up to get monetized so once we get to a thousand I probably won't even sign up to get that money just because it's not that big of a deal now honestly one of these days if we get a bunch of subscribers and get a bunch of views that would be different but for now we're just gonna uh, keep doing what we're doing I honestly feel like I'm not worthy of any more subscribers than we have because I'm still practicing I'm getting better uh, you guys I appreciate you sticking with me and, and learn with me and uh, we do the YouTube's one because we get to see ourselves our progress at the property we get to see what we're doing what we're uh, improvements so hopefully years from now we can look back on these and say oh I remember when we done that I remember how we done it and uh, and another big reason is so I know we've got friends. I, I, one of my good buddies right now, he's in the hospital. Uh, he's dealing with some cancer issues. and uh, He's told me several times that he loves watching them. You know, he's kind of, uh, I guess, hold up, you know, in the hospital dealing with that. And, and he enjoys watching these things. So, I mean, how cool is that that we can entertain, I guess, uh, entertain, entertain while we're doing these projects. I'm always going to be doing a project of some sort. Always. As long as I'm willing and able, I'm going to be doing some type of project. So, man, this thing just slides around. Alright, now we are to decision time. This hill's getting pretty steep, and 
I think I'm gonna go between this white oak on the left and this maple on the right, the two of the bigger trees. But this hill is so steep, I won't go on about it on this video, but I tried to take the skid loader up to there a little bit ago and it was too slick. Between the steepness and the slickness from snow and rain, I was just spinning out with this track. I can kind of pull myself up through there. I don't know how much farther I'm gonna go today, but uh, I'll finish pulling these small ones out and try to try to get up through here. The track is gonna be able to stay so I can walk out of the woods. This trail is about a mile the new location of the mini cabin is about a mile from the, the mill shop. So we made up the hill a little bit farther now. Cleaning this out, it's getting really steep now, but I'll be able to climb a little bit with this hoe, I hope. But it's starting to rain a little more, snow a little more. So we'll see how it goes. But I want to get back to the conversation we were having down when we started on the bottom of the hill. Um, I, I said we're getting close to a thousand subscribers, which is really cool. So more importantly than the chair or tell a bunch of people to subscribe, um, I would like to know where everybody's from. I know I've got a lot of friends and family to watch. Um, that'd be cool though if you would go on down in the comments. Tell us where you're from. I know John's out in California. Uh, we've got some guys from Georgia, New York. So our videos get maybe if, it, if we do a good one. 500 600 views so we got a lot of people to watch and i think so far what well, the people do watch are uh, more of a specialized crowd i think you enjoy what we're doing and, and you look forward to our videos so yeah that'd be a good favor for me you know i i'm not doing you guys a favor but i do feel like i'm doing my best i promise you that because for you to tune into this YouTube channel and watch what we're doing, I'm fighting for 15 minutes of your week that you'll drop what you're doing and come watch what I'm doing. That's a lot to ask for. So that's why I want to keep getting better. I want to get good content that you guys don't feel don't watch one and feel like you wasted your time. I want you to really feel like you got something out of it. Um, We'll be doing YouTube for a long time, I do believe. I really enjoy the artistic part of doing the videos and actually editing the video to make to make it come out to really do something that's worth watching. To me, that's a challenge. I love a challenge. I am the guy that... I love a challenge. I, I'll challenge pretty much about anything. I really will. I am so competitive. It's just the nature I am. I don't know. Maybe that's helped me get where I'm at. But <laughs> uh, yeah, jump in there and put a comment where you're from. What you like seeing on our channel? Do you like? I know a lot of people like the wood miser only, which is cool. I uh, can't run a wood miser every day. I just don't have the desire to do that. Actually, I do have the desire to do that. But there's so many other things I need to, to stay up on besides running the wood miser. But I know I've probably said it before, that wood miser, I wish I would have bought one 10 years ago. So if you're a wood miser fan, you came here to this Karen Creek channel from watching our wood miser videos. I 100% wish I would have bought one 10 years ago. I'm 42 now. I wasted so much bulbs in my life cutting. I really have. So, if you're even considering getting the wood miser, or any, getting like just portable someone. My father-in-law watched me run the wood miser, and he just got him. He didn't get a wood miser, but he did get another saw, a portable saw maker. He did get another portable saw mill brand, and he didn't get hydraulic. So, it's giving him a workout. He's enjoying it. He talked to me last night. He's loving it. Um, so, yeah. Tell us where you're from. Tell us what you like about our channel. I mean, it really helps. Like, going back to the competitive thing, I am competitive and I'm bound and determined to make this channel work. I know we didn't get to a thousand as quick as I wanted to, but that's okay, like I said, and I am going to continue to make it better. You guys probably watch YouTube videos on on stuff like we're doing, the outdoor stuff. And 
I watch YouTube videos on how to make YouTube videos better. <laughs> 100%. That's what I watch. So, uh, I gotta move the outside camera and I'm gonna try to go up a little farther. Alright, it's getting pretty good, so I wanna. That other camera I got, I think it's a Canon. I wanna keep it inside. Let's try to get up this hill a little farther. I'll kind of touch on the last thing I want to touch on in this video. So, spoiler alert, you're not going to see the cabin right up here in this video. The video's already run long enough. Um, but I want to talk about Cairn Creek. The actual Cairn Creek. You know the name. Oh, we're already sliding. We did a video a long time ago, and I'll do another video, hopefully this fall or winter, about Cairn Creek. Up two years ago, we bought this property. It's 140 acres, and we discovered some some Indian type stone mounds on the back side of it. And upon further investigation, we learned that those are called cairns. So we aptly named it Cairn Creek, which was a creek through the property. My wife Kim, she loves horses. You guys have seen the, the hay burners, I call them. We have four boys, and they go from 18 years old down to seven years old. Carson, Colby, Coco, and Cruz. I think we have four dogs, a couple cats, four horses. I already said that. But something cool that I wanted to mention, I looked at buying properties for several years. I looked hard. Um, I put letters in the Gazette trying to plead my case. Just basically, it was hard to find land that had that met my criteria. It was hard to find that land through realtors. And I had realtors looking. So in my different attempts to find the land, and there's a little chestnut oak. I put a letter in the newspaper uh, stating some different facts about the family and why I wanted to buy land, how much land I was looking for. I made those little 18 by 24 road signs, uh, put them everywhere. That did not work. I had those out for several months. Like the biggest thing I got with them was my buddies stealing them and taking pictures of them and teasing me. Um, and this property here came up. It's only less than 10 minutes from our house or main shop and this property came available and I was able to snatch it up within a week pretty much it met all the criteria that I was looking for Ooh. so like this little actually this is a red oak so this little red oak I'll just throw it to the side there's tons of trees already down in these these woods This thumb is working super, super slow. So this property came available. I came and looked at it. It was completely undeveloped. No uh, driveway, no power, no water, and was able to snatch it up. And I quickly started work on all the improvements as far as getting everything ready. Because we had a camper, and as soon as, I mean, within a week of getting it, I had my camper out here, and I had one of those haunt generators. We started camping out here and working, and then shortly after, I got the Woodmiser sawmill, and it's uh, it's been fun. All right, I'm gonna make my way back out. It's just way too slick. It's actually dangerous. This thing will tip over, um, and so I'm gonna make my way out. But I think I think I've talked enough. I, I just wanted to have a sit down talk with everybody watches tell you I appreciate you guys sticking with us watching uh, once again please tell us where you're from or don't be shy to leave comments tell us what you like about the videos tell us what you want to see more of I mean I'm not gonna invent projects just because somebody wants to see it but I have plenty of projects to do so more than likely I can accommodate most of your needs as far as what you like to see. Maybe I don't show enough of the nuts and bolts of projects or 
maybe maybe I play too much music and you don't like that. So jump down there, don't be shy, tell us where you're from, tell us what you like, tell us what you want to see us do different. And we'll be receptive to your comments. You guys just imagine this. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep making things better. We're gonna keep growing. You guys are in on the ground floor here, Karen Creek YouTube page. Oh, I missed that tree. I appreciate you guys, I really do. We're gonna march on down to the bottom. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Karen Creek, over and out.